Okay, we're going to do the flattened tire. As you can see, it's too shiny for what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're going to paint this with acrylic, and I can't stress that enough. I found out the hard way. Do not use anything but water-based acrylic paint on these tires. If you use uh, enamel, for some reason, it leaves the tire sticky um, forever. It doesn't go away, which might be good for weathering powder, but I'd rather be safe than sorry than to have some kind of reaction to where it just eventually deteriorates the whole thing. Um, the way I laid the paint out is these. This is a flat paint, of course, um, because we're trying to eliminate the shiny part. Um, I put just three drops of white because a, a slate gray or something might be okay, but I'd rather mix it my own way and this is just flat black what we're going to do is I put the drops out there for the reason of it pulling it in there a little bit at a time so that way I can adjust the color on the fly if I think it's too if I need a little bit more just pull another drop into it it's a little too dark uh, pull a drop if it's too light pull more black into it right there's about the shade that I'm wanting um, a little bit more dark in there. We'll go with that. I want it to look like aged rubber. Aged rubber has a grayish white look. And it's going to look shiny at first until it dries, of course. Um, we'll go ahead and coat this real good both sides. Um, that way, when you weather it, the great thing about doing tires is, is if you mess up, like I said, you've always got the other side. So, actually, that little puncture that came through might not be such a bad thing in the in the uh, end effect of it. Gives it a reason why it might be flat in the first place, why the car was left there, whatever you want to say. And we'll get this other side. Mix a little bit more. For that fact, you know, you, you could uh, paint one side a little different than the other, say for just experimentation, if you think the one turned out better as far as the, the color of it. Uh, use that side. There we go. I wouldn't worry about, I mean, you can do the tread. Um, if you really want to make the tread look good, um, I did it a little bit on this one before I weathered it, and it really helped everything stick together. You might be able to notice it a little right there. I uh, took uh, sandpaper and just ground it, just sitting there, ground it like you would actually get that road wear and it it gave it a nice flat appearance like of road wear on the tire so that worked out for the best that's probably what I'll do to this one you can see that's almost dry as we're sitting here talking but we'll let that dry real quick